Welcome to part 5 of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door and we just came from Schwonk's Fortress where we beat the hell out of fuzzies and got the stone key we need to go to Hooktail's castle. So now it's time for us to leave Schwonk's Fortress. Unfortunately we don't have no other business here unless there's a trouble center mission surrounding the uh, Schwonk's Fortress. Other than that, we can just outright leave. Oh, and by the way, the enemies that were here, <clears throat> more than likely they will return. You'll still have to beat them again. The difference is you'll be able to tattle them. I do believe you'll be able to tattle them, I'm not sure. But if, actually no, 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 correction, they may not return, unfortunately, so... Now, they are considered mid-bosses, so you will have to, uh, <clears throat> get their tattle log from Professor Frankly. So, other than that, we don't have any other business here. Unless we're really desperately completing the tattle log. Anyway, let us go on ahead and head out of town. And head straight for Petalburg. No, for, not Petalburg, Petal Meadows. We're in Petalburg. Um, excuse me. Oh, hi, Coops. It's Mario, right? Look, I, um... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in hopes to getting to speak to you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um, see... I was wondering... Would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail! Oh, please, I'm begging you! Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this is just about avenging my dad. Sure it is. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it. I guess a big part of it. But the truth is, I want to finish off what Dad started, for his sake and for everyone's sake. Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. And of course, this is a butt thou mutt situation. He'll keep asking you until you take him. And we've got Koops. <clears throat> While the Primer may explain his, explain his abilities, here's the deal. Outside of battle, you can shoot Koops. And not only can you actually use Koops to get through obstacles, you can also use Koops to attack enemies for a first strike. <clears throat> Koops actually is definitely good for those pesky enemies that love to try to fly into you. If not fly into you, but definitely try to run into you. You can just use Koops to pretty much not only uh, delay him for a bit and attack uh, switches, you can also use Koops to get those pesky hard to reach enemies before they even think about attacking you. So that's pretty nifty. This is something that uh, Cooper wasn't able to do in Paper Mario. <clears throat> you couldn't hold a shell like Coops could, but at the same time, he had some pretty strong attacks. But before we could leave, Coops? Koopy Koo! Oh, golly, um, hi, Koopy Koo! Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Coops. I thought I heard you say you were going to fight off Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Who, but I want to be tougher for you. So I have to do this. No, Coops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it, it's stupid. So what if you're timid? So what if you're and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want to be with you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo, I've made up my mind. No, no, 
No need to worry though. I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. And of course, Scooby Coo does not take that very lightly. As a matter of fact, Koopy Koo is pissed. The thing is, Koopy Koo is sort of a hypocrite, to say the least. Because she secretly wished for Koop to be stronger. As a matter of fact, when you talked to Koopy Koo in the. Well, when I talked to Koopy Koo in the last part. No, several parts ago, actually. Koopy Koo wished for, uh. Koops to actually be a stronger person. And unfortunately, Koops was hiding in his house when he heard of Hooktail. So, yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing a mushroom, maybe a fire flower. Yeah, yeah, actually I'm gonna grab a fire flower. That's gonna help me out in Hooktail's castle, definitely. <laughs> you might wanna definitely grab one of those and grab some honey syrup while you're at it. Ooh, we're like about four points away from getting a mushroom. Hooray. Anyway, let's Go on ahead and get out of this place. For the time being, we don't have much to do for the Petal Bird. Uh, 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 ignoring you. We're heading over to Hooktail's castle. But first, there's one thing that needs to be done. Let's jump down the. Oh no, you idiot! You fool! Why did you do that? Oh! Yeah, but I deserve that. But he deserves this more! Oh, and Koops! I... God damn it, Koops got attacked. Koops has his shell shot, which you have to line up the... Uh, line with the... Actual space to form a star. If you manage to pull it off, it'll be a nice hit. But at the same time, when you hit the opponent, you press A and you do Koopy... I mean, Koops. I almost called him Koopy Koo for a second there. Koops is stylish move. You'll be seeing it a couple of times when we go to Hooktail's castle. But that's Happy Heart right there. And that's basically HP Walk. Yeah, that's what it is. It's HP Walk. So as you walk, you heal. So if you like that card, I mean that badge, by all means equip it. If not, oh well. You don't have to equip them if you don't want to, but here's where you put the keys that you fought the, uh, that I fought the fuzzy so desperately for. Ugh, my, I'm having too many dead spots, I, I'm sorry about that. But once you get the stone keys into their place, ancient texts appear, and remember that ability that the primer showed us, how uh, you can hold coops in place while Mario can move around, this ability will definitely come in handy to getting to Hooktail's castle. It's pretty darn convenient to say the least. Not, like I said, it is very darn convenient. But yes, Koop... Oh, god damn it! I didn't mean to hit the, uh, corner. Let's go over to the right side. But like I said, Koops can be a very convenient member. You'll be needing him for a lot of puzzles, definitely. In fact, you'll be needing most of your uh, allies for puzzles, with the exception of one. And now we've got the way to Hooktail's castle. Let's get the hell inside, and let's give ourselves a warm welcome to Hooktail's castle. And you'll see just the awesome power of the GameCube. I mean, it may be the weakest out of the three, but it did have some pretty graphically astounding games. And this is one of them. And this is the awesome power of the GameCube. Look at the graphics from that menacing uh, entrance. Now then. Since we've got the airplane, let's go fly to the front door. Don't fall now. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was something down in between the bridge. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking of something else. I'm remembering there might be something, but there isn't probably, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Oh, and I thought I saw some... 
I thought I saw a shine sprite, but unfortunately my eyes are deceiving me. Anyway. Uh, 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 nope, 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 nope. What's here? Ooh! Definitely taking that. Power bounce is definitely good at this point. I need a higher level, though. That's definitely for sure. I gotta stop saying definitely. Oh! Oh no! Looks like Koops has found somebody! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it, it's my father! Dad! Huh? What's this? Mario, my father's clutching some letter. Or at least, his bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Of course read it! Trust me, it's gonna be helpful. Okay, I can do this. I'll read it. <clears throat> I came to Hook to the castle to destroy Hooktail, but I could go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dreaded Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Crick and end with Kit. Wicked, actually. And something that makes that noise is hidden it in the castle. And yes, this guy just literally gave you the weakness to the boss before we even got there. You want to know what the messed up part is? That badge is literally here. <coughs> and it's definitely something that may astound you that you may actually forget the badge. First players, first time players normally do this, but also the guy that got eaten by Hooktail is not Koops' dad, but rather Colorado's dad. And for those of you who don't know who Colorado is, Colorado is actually the archaeologist from Paper Mario. Well, the original Paper Mario. Of course, he was one goofy fellow. He did get the treasure though, but he was still one goofy fellow. So, knowing that his father has been killed, it really would hurt him. And speaking of things that are killed, or should I say dead, uh-oh, red bones. Notice why I got the fire flower. Now then, these guys will just push you out of the door. You can have to fight your way to the red bones. And you just have to, like I said, fight your way to the red bones. And once you get to the red bones, now it's time to actually put that fire fire to good use. Something told me I should have bought two of them. But I wasn't thinking about it at the time. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right. We're gonna need to actually use magic attacks against the red bones in order for to hurt it. Unfortunately, I've used up all my items. Okay. Oh, they're immune to jump. Damn it! All right then. I guess fire flower number two. Wait, I do have another fire flower. Well, that was a smart move to save that fire flower, because I didn't know I had it! Anyway... Uh, just as planned? So, yeah! We, we've cleared off the, uh, dry bones and the red bone. And now we come to this area. Whoa, oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. There's the shine sprite! Now, Shine Sprites in this game works the same way as Paper Mario, the original. Oh, and by the way, Dry Bone. They, they just die from any hit now, so long as it's not jump. But as I was saying... Oh, god damn it! somebody hit him with a uh, pan. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yes, the Shine Sprite is something that you need to go back to Rogue for. for. If you happen to have a Shine Sprite, that will power up one of your characters, well, one of your party members, to, uh, level one. Well, actually level two, basically. And they'll have stronger attacks, plus a new attack. 
But unfortunately, uh, we don't have the time to do that right now. I'll probably do that before I go to Hooktail, but chances are I won't be able to. I'll try to attempt it at least. Anyway, what you need to do, use the hammer. Okay, wrong thing. You need to drop that uh, black, I mean purple block. It, it looked black to me, sorry, my vision was bad. And yeah, I cut because, yeah, the, um, I was basically distracted and I ended up wandering off. But, I just found another star piece. Something tells me we're going to have to collect them all. Alright. Now then, jump across. And... We'll just use the, uh... Oh, come on. I gotta get it out of my head, in my mouth. Sorry, I just got the uhs and ums. Uh, my bad. You just jump on the yellow block, and then you climb up, and then you hit the red block. Which will shift the whole entire staircase. Now then, let's take the staircase. I'm pretty sure there's a key over here. Yes, there is. Now we're going to have to use Coops again to reshift the staircase and open the door. Now, don't mind the uh, yellow block. I may have to come back to that later. For the time being, we're going to go on ahead and save. In the next episode, we're going to go through the second half of Hooktail's Castle. This is RVman 985. See you guys in part 6. I'm definitely calling it right here.